Welcome everybody. Good morning, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Uh, we are so glad to have the fifth edition of the Top 16 Ace Quiz Biz. We have Rodney, Yanko, Vedant and Jamie, the panelists today. And we are so excited to have uh, all these participants with us. Guys, say hi. <laughs> In the interest of time, I'm quickly going to uh, run with the next part, which is meeting your quiz masters. You already know me and Sarika by now. We've, we've conducted four quizzes. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to talk like an official content creator before I jump into the quiz details. So four participants at a time, we have 20 questions, 10 of general trivia and 10 for the Atlassian ecosystem. If a participant gets a wrong answer, the next person gets a chance to win uh, by giving the correct answer. If nobody gets the correct answer, we'll do the same round again with a hint so that the question becomes for five point instead of 10. Uh, important thing to know, there is no negative marking. So always feel free to guess because that's funny as well at times. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> goes without saying, please refrain from using the internet during the quiz. With that, uh, Yanko, since you are the latest entrant to the quiz, we give you the power to uh, decide the order for this special edition of the quiz. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I'm the meal starter. Perfect. And uh, who wants to go second? Is there are there any volunteers? Since nobody Hello. said anything, oh, Vedant did. All right, so Yanko, Vedant, uh, Jamie, and Rodney, third or fourth. Oh, oh. Well, Jamie wants to be number three. Perfect. So Sarika, the order is Yanko, Vedant, Jamie, and Rodney. So with that, let me go for the first question to Yanko. Yanko, this is your question for the general category. EGOT is a designation given to a very special list of people to the point that it is called the Grand Slam of show business. As of 2022, only 16 people have ever accomplished this feat. That means are part of the EGOT list, including actress, actor, uh, Audrey Hepburn and the musician John Legend. What is this list which is called EGOT? Mm. Could it be the Oscars? Not the Oscars, not just the Oscars, I would say. I'll move on to Vedant, who has the second chance to give the answer. Ah, I'm not getting this. <laughs> you want to guess hmm. Vedant or do you want to pass? I think Jamie uh, knows I'll the answer. Pass. I think Jamie knows pass. the answer. I'll pass. So happy I know one. <laughs> Go ahead, Jamie. Uh, it's winning all four Emmy, Grammy, Oscars, and Tony Awards. <laughs> that is right. That is the correct answer. The winners of Emmy, Grammy, Oscars, and Tony are called EGOT. As of now, as of 2022, only 16 people have ever won all the four awards. And that's why there are more like who have been given honorary EGOTs, but technically only 16 people have won in the contested category. Great crack, Jamie. 10 points to Jamie. Since Jamie got this question, the next question is directed towards Rodney. Rodney, this is your question. Unicorns have featured in many cultures going back as far as the classical age, including the ancient Babylonians and the Indus civilization. With its white horse body and a single spiraling horn, it's a symbol of purity, innocence and power. Legend also says that horns can purify poisoned water, such is the strength of its healing power. Now, which country has this mythical unicorn as its national animal? I believe that would be Scotland. That is the right answer. Scotland is the country which has uh, unicorn as its national animal. So 10 points to Rodney. Good job, Rodney. With that, I move back to Yanko for your second question, Yanko. This okay. is your question. 
On 15th October 2021, Coldplay's ninth studio album, Music of the Spheres, was released by Parlophone. Chris Martin, who's the leader of the band Coldplay, said that it was inspired by wondering what musicians would be like across the universe after watching a fictional band perform in a movie. Now there's a hint because I know not everybody is a music nerd. So which movie is this which also popularized the phrase do or do not there is no try. I have not the slightest idea so I pass. All right, we move on to you Vedant. Hmm. Also don't have much idea around this. Okay, if you read, so again, I'll say that if you read the questions, there are always clues in the questions. Hmm. <laughs> What ninth studio? Sorry, is it the ninth studio? The movie name? No, no. Uh, move on to Jamie. Does it say a fictional band? Yes, it says a fictional band. Okay. Um the sound of the album was inspired by what musicians would be like across the universe. Because he saw a band perform in a fictional band perform in a movie. Okay. Um that thing you do? not that thing you do good good guess though rodney you want to take a guess do or do not there is no try love that quote from star wars that is right it's from the movie star wars yoda saying do or do not there is no try so if you're a fan of star wars and i had to put this question i'm a big fan of star wars <laughs> and this is obviously two days back we had the may you know star wars day may the 4th So yeah that's that's a great crack 10 points to Rodney Across the universe I thought it was the Beatles <laughs> so, Yes <laughs> So I I thought maybe the universe and the image which is actually the album art of the band could probably give some hint because whenever you think about space mm-hmm. movies the first one is either space odyssey or star wars that's the two movies that come to my mind All right. Uh since Rodney gave the correct answer 10 points Rodney we move on to the next question to Yanko. Again Yanko this is your question. X is a term used to a user's response to an interface when there is insufficient differentiation between active clickable elements and content. Without any clues the user must scrub the screen to unearth active elements. It is named after a very common single player video game. Name the term or the game. They are both the same. Now again, think about it, read the words, read the words scrub. Clickable elements and content insufficient differentiation, active elements and it's based on the term is based on a video game. I never was a real video game player so this guy's not a slight idea again so i'll pass all right uh with us i don't know which again i am saying it again yeah. because i feel you guys can get this easily so read through i used to play video game but i don't know on which era this this video game belongs to <laughs> if nobody answers uh, i'll give the hint in the era but till then no <laughs> scrub the screen okay um, Oh, just second mm-hmm. when what year was the video game released if i had to give the hint mm. that would help <laughs> now but that I would be a i'll pass <laughs> i'll pass all right uh, we move to jamie i don't know the game but i'm going to go the term cash Fair not enough? cash not cash rodney All right, I should know this. I worked at a video oh, game company. Oh. I'm going to say Minesweeper. 
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky guy. <laughs> I don't my, think that one My count. mouse, yeah, my mouse just freaked out on me. I touched the the space bar and just came. Oh man! Second tech glitch in two games. Sorry, guys. Such a good question. I wasted that question now. Makes so much sense though after knowing the answer and rereading it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. It was such a good question. I ruined that question. Mm. That's so the answer is Minesweeper, but yeah, you're right. We'll have to scrap this question. Uh, we'll start. We'll start the question again with Yanko on a different one. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, just that sorry, guys. So much anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I think we did we did we said a wrong answer right Sarika which was incorrect and this time I've clicked at a wrong button and given <laughs> away the answer. Hmm. I need to do better. I will do better. <laughs> But for now, in the interest of time, Yanko, I'm going to swap this question with another question so that okay. you can get the chance, a fair chance again from beginning. Right. Uh, <laughs> let me let me just click this first. I'm again randomly moving forward and giving you another question. This is your question, Yanko. The term "deafening silence" is an example of a figure of speech, in which a phrase combines two words that seem to be the opposite of each other, or juxtaposes concepts with opposite meaning mean within a word or phrase that creates a self-contradiction. What is it commonly called? Nothing comes in mind. So, right, so again, the again. example is deafening silence. Is an example. Yeah, I understand what you say, but just nothing is popping up. <laughs> do you want to pass, Yanko? Yes, I do. All right, we're done. I don't have a clue around this. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Jamie. Hello, Basuk. It's bugging me because I know I use the term a lot, and of course, when it comes out, <laughs> my mind is like blank. Um, I can't think of it. It's going to drive me crazy. Looking at the screen, I feel Rodney has the answer. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> I'm going to go with oxymoron. Yes. Wow, oh, that's right. <laughs> Again, ten <laughs> points to Rodney. Rodney crushing it in this. <laughs> All right. With that, we're done with the first four. Technically five because I ruined the question. And we move on to the Atlassian ecosystem question. So that I hand it over to you, Sarika. Sure, uh, sure, Sajid. So our ecosystem question round one will be all about Atlassian values. So we all know Atlassian have some values, uh, five values. So we are going to ask uh, the the value definition, or we can say we will present you a logo, and you have to guess the value name. So this is the question one, and we'll start with uh, Yanko again, right? That's Sajid? right. Yeah. So Yanko, this is a question for you. Uh, so yeah. this is the logo. Uh, this is the logo of Atlassian Value. You have to guess the name of that value. Hmm. Raging bull, but <laughs> I have no. Uh... That's so much <laughs> I have really no idea. <laughs> We'll move on to Vedan. The, the only thing I can say is raging bull, but I don't think uh, <laughs> that's the right I, answer. If if Atlassian, anybody in Atlassian is listening, that could be a great value, raging bull. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll I'll pass. All right, Vedan. Yeah. 
I have a feeling everybody knows this somehow, but they are just not remembering it. No hint. <laughs> not until everybody answers. <laughs> okay. I was really hoping I can't get this because the only idea I have is just. Oh. That's what. <laughs> Ajit, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> my my laptop is just behaving on its own sarika that this time I it was not me to answer all i think he only wants to answer all of my questions <laughs> what is <laughs> happening i have no idea my laptop has a life of its own <laughs> i've ruined one question of general trivia and one question of the atlasian trivia my laptop just thinking. like it's running on its own i'm not even <laughs> touching it I he is also participating today. <laughs> yeah, I guess my laptop is also <laughs> participating today. Yeah, I think I think what I'm going to do is Sarika I'm just going to ask the question and just keep my hands here until like you know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's how how we should play this going forward. But yeah, we we've, we've lost this question. Congratulations, I've lost one of your questions too. So I think they have the wrong side of the bull here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Sarika, I'm sorry. Let me move on to the next yeah, no question. Problem. You can ask that question again. Yes, so we we'll start again with Yanko, right? <laughs> yes. Um uh, so this is the one of the logo and you have to guess the name of that lesson values. Uh should say uh, have a good balance in a fort or something like that mm-hmm. think uh, just see the logo uh, yeah. they have a heart icon and the thing also so <laughs> oh. balance your values No. Then I pass. Vedant. Ah, uh, I saw this logo somewhere, but not able to call. Heartbeat. Ah, uh, status page on something. No. Somewhere. Okay. do you want to pass uh, is it like uh, adam during maintenance window no no, no. so it's an atlasian value it's the same question Atlas. it's an atlasian oh. value think of atlasian values that you This might know is all about atlasian values yes mm. so like don't bullshit the customer oh uh, open oh. company no bullshit those kind of things you know or balancing the work life something like that yeah little bit close it you have to give a correct name oh okay mm ah uh, i think yeah balancing the work life apart from that i am not getting any word around this that's fine i think uh, we can move on we can uh, ask I'll jamie pass. otherwise we'll come back and then we can probably give a hint and values is plural does that mean there's two answers or two words no there's just one like one phrase kind of a thing okay um i was going to say scalable not scalable rodney I hate myself cuz I learned not only did I look at this page recently I used it in a thumbnail but I cannot remember this exactly. I want to say something along the lines of treat everyone fairly but I don't remember the exact wording. Uh not treat everyone fairly. So we'll come to Yanko again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the description of this value. I think if you can get the value from this. measure twice cut once whether you are building a bird house or a business this is a good advice passion and urgency infuse everything we do alongside the wisdom to consider options fully and with care then we make the cut and we get to work 
that's the definition of the value that this logo symbolizes in the clash it might be a little tougher to get if you have not seen this on the atlassian website as rodney says if you have you've skipped it out of your mind and your fans are never read these atlassian values but uh, do we want to take a guess as, as, as yeah i said i i I could imagine something like the uh, messy route uh, the right uh, balance between uh, so do you think if we are not able to guess the complete name the so we should we names. have no no not yes. two three there are three keywords in that phrase if you give me those three keywords if you give me those it's a phrase It's, if you give me those three keywords, we'll give you the points. I changed my answer because I didn't think it was more than one word. <laughs> no. <laughs> so again, now you'll get a chance again, Jimmy. Yanko, do you want to give it a try? No. Vedant. No, nothing. Nothing comes. Like just two uh, words. No, three. It technically need, has to be three <laughs> words. I'll, I'll pass it on. As I said, I never read. Okay, uh, even two. I think I know what you're saying. That's fine. Vedant. <laughs> Stop. Jamie, now you know it's a phrase. I don't think I'm going to say, but I thought it was just one word. Uh, checks and balances? Not quite. Rodney? The only thing I got, and I know this is wrong, but consider all options. Like, I know the paraphrase for it. I just can't get it in my head. That's the best I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I think then we'll just drop this, uh, Sarika. See, the the, the fun part is the question that it's a little tougher. That does not get ruined. I ruin the good questions. So the answer <laughs> to technically this question is build with heart and balance. It would have given us heart and balance. It would have mm. given you the points. That's the official Atlassian value. Since nobody gave the answer, we start again with Yanko with the next question. And Yanko, here is your question. The same question. Guess this value it's by the logo. It's also one of the Atlassian values. Yes, it's also a value. A very common one, actually. Be, be positive about, uh, about, uh, about Atlassian products? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, Yeah, looks looks like some kind of uh, work thing to me, but um, work with Atlassian products yourself, something like that. <laughs> no, not that. Uh, we'll move on. Vedant, do you want to give it a shot? Again, we're looking for two keywords. If you give us those two keywords, we'll give you as a point. What it is? It's a life jacket. <laughs> Not life jacket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, do, do you want to guess? Second. No. Okay, Jamie. It looks like the outfit that sprinters wear or um, wear for running. So I was going to say, um, oh gosh, I had the actual phrase. Um, Sprint complete? No, not that. I think this one Rodney knows. You would think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I literally <laughs> just looked at this page and all of these, except the two one everyone knows, are slipping my head. I want to say again, this, this is a work life very, balance. Not work life balance. A very common one. So I'll, I'll again this time I'll read out the hint and we'll do this again. Uh, so the description <laughs> for this is, and Yanko, it's your turn again. 
we spend a huge amount of our time at work so the more that time doesn't feel like work the better we can be serious without taking ourselves too seriously we strive to put what's right for the team first whether in a meeting room or on a football pitch <clears throat> that's the definition of this value that they have hearing what i just said can you think of any couple of words or a phrase or a two word that is the atlashan value team value okay we'll we'll hold on to that if nobody else gets it then we'll give it to team values i think it's somewhere close but i'm looking for the exact word vedant Jamie. Team goals. Not team goals. Uh, Rodney. I think this one, based on the description, is have fun. Not have fun, as well. Sorry, what do you want to do? Do you want to be part points to Yanko for hitting the team word for? I will just give one more hint. I will just give one more hint. Uh, yeah. The description that uh, that Sajid said, right? You can think about football and team. Hmm. <laughs> football like american football or uh, is, yeah don't need to get into details <laughs> soccer football cricket think of it anything okay it means something like be a team, team football, player you can li- you can link something team football be a team player No. All right. Again, we'll hold off on that. We'll give one chance quickly to everybody else. Vedant. End goal. No. Uh, Jamie. Uh, s- Very close. No. No. Uh, Rodney. Do you want to check guess final shot? Um, last guess. Um, we're a team. Not we're a team. So I think we can give two point five points to Yanko for the second time he said it. So instead of yeah, team I player, think. it's play as a team. That's the official Atlassian value. I know this could be a little tough than you know if you haven't uh, gone through the page, but that's that's what it is. So we can give two point five, I think, to Yanko for this specific question. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> uh, with that, let me move on to the next category of general trivia. Back to general trivia, we guys. Uh, and the first question is: uh, since we gave the two point five points to Janko, Janko, we'll start with uh, Vidant for the next question. Right. All uh, right. Thanks. Let me go to my question. Vidant, this is your question. Guess the country by the emoji. <laughs> and again i'm putting my hands here i don't want to ruin this exactly <laughs> did you guys get it <laughs> is that what you're laughing or oh yeah i got it okay edant i specifically chose this one <laughs> There were many options in this. Uh, like, okay, this one looks evil enough <laughs> and funny enough. No, no. Okay, uh, Jamie. I hope it's not offensive, guys. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Sorry, um, what is it? <laughs> I was gonna say China. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> oh man, and then my- <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. We get you a train of thought, Jimmy. Not no, China. No hard to take it out. No, no, it's it's all fair play. It's all right. It's all right. It doesn't oh, look like Corona, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I might have chosen mm-hmm. this picture to confuse people, and Jamie might have fallen to my <laughs> win. Oh man, we'll move on. Rodney, I think Rodney knows the answer. I do. Um, in the native tongue, it is Deutschland, but most people know it as Germany. That is right. It's Germ money. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> I, I had guessed uh, Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Swiss cheese and the money for banking. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, you guys are thinking way too big for this quiz. Okay, I think you need to, <laughs> like, you know, dumb it down to my level. <laughs> it's dark like this was easy. Sorry. Yeah, it was. So, again, so now you've seen the pattern. We come to you, Yanko, again. This is your question. Now, think about this and give me a. Country's name. I think it's Singapore. <laughs> Sorry? I think it's Singapore. That is right. It is Singapore. Great crack, Yanko. <laughs> 10 points to Yanko for that. And we move on to the next question to Vedant, which is this. Yes, the country. <laughs> Again, I'll keep my hands here. <laughs> Come on, we're done. But it is it's a green. No land is there. It's not an issue type biker, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. Can I take a guess? No. no. All right. We move on. Jamie. Czech Republic. <laughs> that mm. is right. It is Czech Republic. <laughs> crack. 10 points to Jamie for that. <laughs> All right. So that's the Czech, obviously. And that's the ballot box signifying a republic. The Czech Republic. We move on. Since Jamie gave the <laughs> answer, move on to Rodney for the final question of this category. Rodney, this is your question. Uruguay? Wow, people are getting smarter on the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting answers on the first go. That is right. 10 points to Rodney. Great track, Rodney. All right. With that, let me move back to the Atlassian trivia section and hand it over again to Sarika and keep my hands off. <laughs> Since Rodney answered the question again, the goes to Yanko. Yes. So, I think round two won't be much difficult as compared to round one. So, this is all uh, you have to guess the product, uh, Atlassian product that has the capability to build, test, and deploy the code with confidence. Also, it has workflow automation built in disaster recovery feature. Name the tool. Build, test, and deploy the code. Is it uh, automation for Jira? Mm-hmm. No. Not automation for Jira. Uh, we move on. Vedant. On the Atlassian product, right? Yes. Build, test, deploy, confidence. I don't know. Is it bamboo? Um, 
Yes, I do. Yes, right. The correct answer <laughs> is bamboo. You use bamboo to build, test, and deploy with confidence. Ten points to Vedant. With that, we move on to the next question to Jamie. Jamie, this is your question. Okay. Uh, this tool helps team move work forward and also help in collaborating, managing project, and reaching new productivity peaks. Sorry. Uh, it make it easy to keep everyone on the same page. It's more than work. It's a way of working together. You have to guess the product name. Again, the text that we are using are standard Atlassian promotion okay. text that we are using so that we are not, you know, confusing anybody. We are not writing this. This is what Atlassian is calling their tools themselves. Do you have roadmaps? Not roadmaps. Uh, we move on to Rodney. I almost want to say this one sounds like Atlas. No. Not Atlas. We move on to Yanko. The roadmap was the first one to come up with me too. So. <laughs> mm. Big pick, big picture. No, we are talking about Atlassian products. Atlassian specific products. Mm. Yanko. Ah, okay. Sorry. Uh, have to pass. Vedant. Is it Trello? That is right. Vedant is getting all the points in this round. <laughs> Trello does help team move work forward. It's more than work. It's a way of working together. So, Because Vedant got the question right, we move on to the next question to Jamie. Jamie, this is your question. 10 points to Vedant for the previous question, Sarika. Jamie, this is your yes, question. I have so this product help in connecting your business strategy to technical execution. This product help in getting real time visibility of the project and support all agile framework name of the product. This is also one of the Atlassian project products. Sorry. Products, yeah. <clears throat> I just want to say Jira software. No, it is not, not Jira software. Jira software. Uh, Rodney? Business strategy, technical execution. It's one of two things in my head. Mm -hmm. This one could either be, um, I can't remember the full name of the other one just yet, so I'm going to go with advanced roadmaps mm -hmm. as my first guess. And I don't think that's mm -hmm. right, but well, <laughs> no, it's advanced guess. roadmaps. Uh, we move on to uh, Yanko. Yanko. I guess advanced roadmaps, but I don't think that's the right answer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want to pass? Yeah. We don't. We don't. Mm, if Rodney was wrong, then I think it's Jira Agile. Jira Agile? <laughs> uh, align, sorry, not Agile. Jira Align. Yeah, sorry. That's yes. that's right. Jira Align mm. is the correct name. That's the correct tool. I was just mm. thinking, Jamie and I spoke about this a couple of weeks back. We're just talking about Jira Align and what we had to do about it. But yeah, that's that's the official tool. Uh, it unlocks the agility of your enterprise. That's the official tool that uh, you know brings strategy and technical execution together using agile frameworks. Uh, since Vedan gave the answer, the final question of this category goes to Jamie. Jamie, this is your question. This product easily integrate with your current identity infrastructure using built-in integration. Also, it meet all the compilance and security requirements. Is it's also one of the Atlassian products. Sorry? Is it access? Atlassian access? No. Not Atlassian access. <laughs> we move on. Rodney. 
All right. Well, if it's not access, I would have to say crowd. That's right. That's the correct <laughs> answer. Ten points to Rodney. And uh, with that, we uh, I, I think we have two more questions in this round because uh, because I screwed up a couple of questions. So we'll uh, I think take one more uh, of questions, Sarika, and then we'll jump back to the other because I think we just have one question left there. Yeah. All right. So uh, we can because since Rodney answered the question, we come to Yanko for the next question. Yeah. Right. Uh, let me just give me one second. Let me scroll back and see if I've not missed anything. No, I have not. I just have one question left from the general category. And uh, Yanko, this is your question. So this is so. about <laughs> the Atlassian marketplace, right? So Sarika, right. go forward. This is the question to Yanko. Yes. So uh, here uh, we are going to ask you about Atlassian um, marketplace apps. So this is the logo belongs to one of the Atlas and Platinum top vendor uh, in the marketplace. Uh, their tools are built to streamline your process and work seamlessly with the rest of your stack. Uh, their test management add-ons are number one in install. You have to guess the name of Atlas and Marketplace partner, not the name of app. You have to guess the partner name. This is Fox. From the add-on. Sorry? Fo Fox it or something like that. Are you Foxy saying Foxly? Foxly? Yeah. No, not Foxly. No. And Foxly is a product from Jexo, technically. So, okay, not no. Foxly. I'm, I'm uh, more the technical guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> we move on. Uh, Vedant. The logo is the vendor like name, very, right? Yes, the vendor or the builder of the apps. Okay. The logo is quite descriptive if you see it from an angle. <laughs> Which angle is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you have to see it only then. When we'll give you the answer, you'll be like, yeah, it looks like that. But I'm not touching my keyboard, so. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh. Jamie is exploring from all the angles. <laughs> yes. Okay. Some shit. Just reverse it. It will, it will be a bowl. <laughs> I don't know. So we can you can think about the test management apps and from that if you want you can link. The test management app are uh, very yes. famous and a huge installation. We were thinking that this would be a too much of a hint, but I think this is it. Mm. Logo is a little complicated. Uh, not many people have seen it. They definitely have seen the add-on, but they just don't remember the name. You want to guess Vedant? Otherwise, we'll pass on the interest of time. I'll, I'll, I'll pass it. Yep. Jamie. I've seen it before, so it's bugging me. <laughs> so I did try to look at it from different angles. Um, I'm between two. I was going to say maybe adaptist. Not adaptivist. Uh, Rodney? I want to say it's something like Smart Bear or something like that. That's the right answer. Smart Bear is okay. the name of the app vendor. The app is Zephyr which obviously is one of the most highest installed test management add-ons on the Atlassian marketplace. <laughs> and if you look at it, it does look like a little bear. I thought I had to do a Star uh, Wars again. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an my, Ewok. My hint would have been Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> but we didn't <laughs> need that. So Rod, Rodney cracked yeah. it before that. That's good. 10 points to Rodney for that. We move on to the next question to Yanko. Yanko, this is your question. Uh, hope so. With more than 3K installed, this logo belongs to which add-on from the Atlassian marketplace? This app will give you the interactive, flexible and real-time reports for Jira. Guess the name of the add-on. Is that all-in-one report? 
Sorry? All in one report? No. No, report? not that. No. Okay. Uh, Vedant? Something related to reports? Yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> interactive flexible Oops. and real time reports for jira um what was that again it's it, it has 3000 installs and dashboards sorry rich filters and dashboards for jira something yes that's right it is rich filter oh. for jira dashboards by koti lab <laughs> That's the right answer. Ten points to Vedan for that. Great crack. Since Vedan gave the answer, we move on to Jamie for the next question. Jamie, this is the final question of the Atlassian ecosystem category. Yes. So with more than twelve k install, this logo belongs to which add-on from Atlassian Marketplace? This app helps. you to transform and group data in a pivot table build chart and example create spreadsheet and chart guess the name of the add on this this will help you in, to transform and group the data in a table the logo doesn't match with what my guess is, so i'm thinking that's wrong i was going to say easy bi but i'm just, no. it doesn't look like their logo so. mm. no Not easy. This logo I. have this logo have a hint. I think you can check from there. Yeah, that's also true. So uh, not easy. Mm-hmm. I I think we'll move on in the interest of time because uh, since the last round, Rodney, do you want to take a guess? I was going to say table filters, but I don't think that's the exact name. All right. Do you want to guess what the name is? That's my guess, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So we'll we'll hold you on that. If somebody can, that's partly true, as Rodney correctly mentioned. That's partly true. If somebody can give us the full name, we'll give them the full points. Otherwise, we'll give part points to Rodney. Right, Sarika? What do you think? Yes, yes, we can. All right, uh, Janko, you get a steal. Like so, it is table filter, as Rodney Maybe. said. But there's a full name to it. It's a smart table filter. Not smart table no. filters, no. Vedant. That apart from table filter, hmm. table filter. Now, Rodney, right. you want to guess the full name? Oh, is it my turn? No, yeah, 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 Jamie. Let's, let's give, yeah, let's give Jamie <laughs> a chance as well. Um, charts for confluence. Interesting. <laughs> Now, sorry guys, sorry guys, at a uh, crossroads. Sorry, what do you want to do? Let's give five points to Jamie and five to yeah. Rodney. So five points to Jamie, five points to Rodney. It's actually the combination of both table filter and charts <laughs> for confluence. Oh, I just had to say the second half, not so the first half. Oh, because we, we said we had the first half, so I was just guessing adding the second half. Oh, okay. No, I actually wanted the full name. Right. So, so again, Sarika's question. Sarika is the decision maker. Sarika, what do you want to do? Yeah, I think I think uh, Rodney gave up. the hint table filter and from yeah. that uh, so we'll give a um, five point to rodney and five point to jamie yeah yeah that's um, fine jamie yeah that's good all right yeah fine. that's good that's good uh, so with that we just have one pending question from the general category which i like to save always for the last uh, so because ja- jamie gave the answer we'll start with rodney for this one and this is the final question after which we'll have sarika do the scores and this is from the general category rodney this is your question 
Guess these two movies from their badly written descriptions. Now both of these will ha- carry five points. The first one is older sister ruins chances of younger younger sister to be on television. The other one is oversized man seeks to enhance his jewelry collection. If you give me answer to one, I'll give you five points. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next one. I'm meeting. I've got no clue on the first. The second, I feel I should know, but I don't know this one. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll pass it on to Yanko. This somehow has turned out to be my favorite question in the quiz. I always try to keep something like this. Come on, Yanko. I would say, yeah, I would say on the second one, Ocean's uh, Twelve or something. But for the first one, do you want to guess? And the first one, I don't have a clue. That's fine. So not Ocean's Twelve for the uh, second one again. This is a very badly written description. It's not correct description. It's very badly written. Uh, Vedant, do you want to guess? Again, I'm keeping my hands here before I give the answer. <laughs> This seems like a good question. Mm. Come on, Vedant. No. Oh. All right, Jamie, for the steal. No clue. <laughs> I really don't know one either, to be honest. Let me have a guess. All right. If nobody knows, then I'll give a hint. I'll give obviously the hint to Rodney because it's technically his question when we started out, and I'll give both the hints. If Rodney, you can get it, then uh, we'll give you both the points. Let me just. See what hint I want to give. <laughs> oh, all right. So uh, the first one is from a movie trilogy. Okay, and uh, the hint that I would give is uh, it stars Jennifer Lawrence. For the second one, I would say it's one of the biggest movies uh, that was the talk of the town in 2020. and it comes from a series of movies from a big big multi super oh. ultra big production house all right so i still have no clue on the first one that hint helped me out none the second one is um avengers infinity wars that's right the second one is avengers infinity wars It's Thanos, the oversized man who seeks oh, okay. and has a jewelry collection. <laughs> the <laughs> <that he's after. laughs> so that's five points to Rodney, but still, this five points for the first one is up for grabs. So I go back to Yanko for the first one. As I said, the first one is a movie trilogy, uh, starring Jennifer <laughs> Lawrence. I don't know who Jennifer Lawrence is. So. <laughs> This is okay. really helpful. That's um, amazing. Still no. Oh, okay. Then, then just I think I should just just pass. Yes, I pass. <laughs> We're done. Uh, I was thinking about Frozen, but uh, I mean, it is never close to that. that that's it, it actually was an animated really good, movie. Yeah, yeah. It's actually a good guess, but no, not Frozen. I think Jamie knows, and she's dying to I give the answer. <laughs> you want to pass, pass over to Jamie? Yeah, go ahead, I'll Jamie. pass over to Jamie. Uh, Hunger Games. That's right. The correct answer is Hunger oh. Games. <laughs> Katniss takes place of her younger sister's chances to be on the television, and obviously, the oversized man being Thanos, who did not complete. Oh, he did complete his jewelry collection, and then did not. With Do that, it. we come to the end of the quiz. Thank you, everybody, for participating. I hand it over to Sarika for the uh, scores. Yeah, sure, Sajid. So, before announcing the score, anyone have any point, any guess, or? I'll be at bottom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you had two questions, uh, right? <laughs> 
So <laughs> I'll be at the bar at the bottom. <laughs> Come on, Sarika, don't let us hang yeah, in there. So Just start. tell us. Yeah. So Jen ko score point twelve. Okay, twelve points. Okay. Yeah, and Eight. Jimmy score point thirty. Sorry, who? Point thirty. Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy scored thirty. Okay. And uh, any guess between Vedant and Rodney? No idea. Vedant uh-huh. did score a couple of points on the uh, Atlassian round, but no idea. Yeah. So Vedant score point forty. Okay, Vedant is on forty. Yeah, and Rodney score point eighty. Eighty. <laughs> That's a big leap. Yes. Oh. Congratulations, Rodney. That's Rodney nice. moves on to the top sixty. I think Good. after <laughs> Andy, I think after Andy, Rodney is the second person who who came on that level. Yeah, yeah, that's that's <laughs> yeah. That's that's a good that's a good Rodney. score. That is high praise because Andy's <laughs> hard to beat. Yes. Oh, you will All be right. fighting against him. So because you will be in the same league, so you will you know square it off with Andy in the quiz. Oh, going to be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for giving us time on a Friday. I understand the commitments that you had to put aside to join this quiz. We are very happy that you could join us. Any feedback? Please let us know. Well, Absolutely. thank you for uh, giving me the chance to participate. It's really made fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anko. Thank you for coming in at the last hour as, as you know, the savior and having us, giving us the opportunity to do a four-round quiz. All right. Thank you. With that, I think we can just close uh, once again. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Vedan. Thank you, Yanko. Thank you, Rodney. Uh, officially, congratulations. I, I see. I'm seeing the chat. Andy was on. He was watching the quiz live, and uh, he loved it. Thank you, Andy. You're obviously one of uh, the champions who's going to fight it out with Rodney sooner than later. Uh, thank you, everybody. If you want to participate in the quiz, uh, check out previous posts on LinkedIn. You will find the link to the customer portal where you can request to be in the future rounds of quiz. Vedant, Yanko and Jamie, apologies, you could not move forward, but we will reach out to you guys for the next edition whenever we complete this one. Thank you, everybody, and have a good weekend. Thank you.